Greetings my friends, welcome to the channel. This video is going to help you get started with Pro Tools Intro. It's a free audio software, you can use it on Mac or PC and it's perfect to do some audio production from home, recording, editing, mixing. I'm going to keep this tutorial very simple for an absolute beginner. Let's get started. Go to the Avid website. You have to create an account, download Pro Tools Intro. Mine's already done. We're also going to need for this uh, session some audio files. I have already got you some from Mike Senior's excellent Cambridge Music Technology site. Lots of free multi track downloads. I've already prepared you an eight track session which I'll put the download link for. Once it's downloaded, open Pro Tools. Let's make a new session. Version. Okay. We can put the sample rate at 44.1, bit depth at 24, sample rate 44.1. This doesn't matter, either one, it's fine. I'll talk more about these later on. I just want to keep this very simple and get started. One of the first things we need to do is assign the playback engine. This is where the audio is going to play back from. Now, for me, because I'm making this new tutorial, I need to have a different playback engine. But if you're doing this from home, you might need you might need your computer speakers. If you have an audio interface, you might, ha you might see your audio interface here. So just, just do what's right for you. Let's do that. One other thing worth doing is go to Setup, I.O. You're gonna see these layers, Input, Output, Bus. Input, Output, Bus. Just go to Bus and press Default. And this will map the Pro Tools outputs to your playback device. So we have a Pro Tools session. Don't have any audio yet, but soon we will. Let's import some audio. File, import, audio. I gave you the files. You can find them on your desktop or wherever you put them. If I highlight one of them, I can see the bit depth is 24 bit. I can see the sample rate is 44.1. Again, I don't want to get too heavy with theory. Just keep a note of it. 24 bit, 44.1. So I'm going to hold shift and select all the audio files. I'm going to copy and not add. So let's copy and not add. Again, more on these details later. I just want to get you started ASAP. Open. Because I press copy, it's going to copy the files into the audio files folder. It will automatically choose the right place. No need to do anything. Just open. Done. Next, new track. Put these audio files on a new track. Here, session start is fine. Once your playback engine is set, IOs, inputs and outputs are mapped. Then just check that the audio tracks are assigned to the output. So I'm going to open the mixer. Mix. Just check here. This is IO, look, input and output. Check the output. It's going to the output with your speaker on. Yours might be called one and two, might be called stereo, might be called mix. As long as it has that little speaker on, you're in good shape. You can just check them. Okay. Go. Now if I press play, we have sound. We've got stop, play. Okay. You can return to the beginning of the session by right here. We don't need this click track, you might not have it. I'm going to select it, right click, delete. 
is an unused track, we don't need it. This is the edit modes. We, for today, just need slip mode. Okay, I'm going to explain what that is. This is the tools, lots of tools, zoom, trim, select, grab a tool. Let's just stick with select a tool. Just going to go with this one for today. This is a counter, can show bars and beats, minutes and seconds or samples. Let's go with minutes. So when I press play, you're going to see the minutes counting down. You might notice my graphical user interface, GUI. You might notice mine looking less crowded than yours because I already cleaned it up. It's nice if it's nice and clear, less cluttered. So you can find this small arrow on the right. You can show MIDI controls, you can show quantize controls, you might have expanded transport. And then it becomes very crowded up here. We don't need a lot of this stuff a lot of the time. So I'm gonna hide MIDI controls. I'm gonna hide quantize controls. Don't even need the output meters. Expanded transport. There you go. So that's a bit more tidy. Okay, what's next? So we've got some audio imported. We've got stop and play, return to the beginning. Let's press play. You can also press spacebar. Stop and start. Let's play. So we don't need these inserts right now. Okay, for now we can. If I right click here, again I want to clean up my window. If I right click here, untick inserts A to E. If I right click here, I can untick the sense. So again, my interface is becoming a bit more friendly, a bit less crowded. Another shortcut you're going to need frequently, if you go to Window and Mix, you see this shortcut? Command and Equals. Command and Equals, so I press Command and Equals, and I'm going to open my mixer. Press Play. I know the seasons right to change, it's changing all around. I know the reasons you've arranged, they're tearing me down. Where is the peacefulness of mine? I can adjust my levels as I like them, as you like them. So we can do mixing here. We also have... I know the... Pan right, pan left. Around. I know the reasons you've arranged. Because peacefulness of mine. Where will my heart come back to life? As I pick up the pieces that I've left in me, I got some basic mixing going on already. Solos, mutes, faders, fader levels, panning. But there's one thing I want to show you. You notice how when I press play and stop from the same place every time I encourage this version so I'm going to put it on and now when I stop or start this marker keeps moving I encourage you to keep this off insertion follows playback next you're gonna need zoom. Here is the zoom controls. I can zoom horizontally here. Also, I can adjust track height. This you're gonna need quite frequently as well for editing. If I adjust one track, 
just one track moves, uh, adjusts, just one track adjusts. However, I need to use these modifier keys quite a lot in Pro Tools. So I'm holding Option on my keyboard. I'm holding Option. And now all of the tracks go together. Actually, while holding Option, all of the mutes go together, all of the solos go together. I'll open my mixer, Command equals. I can hold Option and click on a fader and it goes to zero. So this modifier key is quite useful. I can option click here, it goes to zero. Option click here, it goes to zero. So it's quite useful, we're gonna need that a lot, especially for zooming. Keep this on, edit keyboard focus. So this is gonna assign keys on your keyboard as shortcuts. Just keep this on all the time. Okay. Main one is R and T. So R and T is my zoom. So it's going to make life a bit easier. You know, it gets the workflow nice and smooth. Okay. We've got our track height down there. R and T mixer command equals. Okay. Solos, mutes, volume, pan. There you go. Nice little Pro Tools tutorial, get you started, free of charge. Basic mixing, work on the mix a little bit, balance it how you like it. I'm going to put some more tutorials on mixing of course, using this free Pro Tools version. The next video is going to be recording and editing.